All right, guys, welcome back, Landy Lover. Today, I'm just gonna run through a few bits. Um, it's been on, I did a about a 300 mile journey. Um, did break down, you probably saw it on my Instagram. If you are not got me on the Instagram, go check us out at the Landy Lover. Give us a follow, that'd be great. Um, yeah, you'll see it on there. We did break down, I had to spend overnight. It was a oil cooler pipe that went. Managed to fix it, got it from Rimmer Brothers, London, uh, Lincoln, should I say. Um, and it was, I can't remember where it was, it was, it was just just coming out of Newark. Uh, it just spat it absolutely everywhere, of course. I'd just done the service, I'd just done the transmission oil, um, and it was the oil cooler. Um, it's a metal pipe from the automatic gearbox, and it runs, and there's like a little, probably, I don't know, 10 centimetres at max. So it's all metal, and there's 10 centimetres that's rubber, and that was the bit that went. So, um, yeah. We managed to get it replaced, bitch of a job. It really is an absolute bitch of a job. Steve helped me out, massive favor owed to him. Um, but yeah, today it was all right. I say, when I did the service, I did change it for the, I've got a spare turbo, um, which I rebuilt. I got it from, I think it was London Turbos. I rebuilt the inter internals of that. Absolutely bang on on my 10p. Um, so that was solid. I had a bit of play in this 15p one. Um, so what I did, I changed it over to the 10p because I did a bit of reading and apparently it's all right to do. So I did it, it's fine. It pulls exactly the same, everything like that. The only thing I'm worried about, there's a slight, um, I wouldn't even say whistle. It's more of a whine um, when you go to put your foot down, um, which I'm a little bit concerned about. So I'm literally just gonna give it a quick turbo check today. Um, I'm just gonna check it all over. If I've got to change it back to the saggy one, I'm gonna have to for now, because I'm hoping to, I mean, it's Saturday today, Sunday, fingers crossed, we uh, get some lanes done. Might not be a lot, but I just wanna get out, because it's doing me head in. Um, but yeah, I wanna just double check all this over, first of all, just to make sure everything's tight, or everything's working as it should be. Uh, there ain't no boost leaks, anything like that. Um, I did notice a bit of soot at the back of my manifold. It's already been done once. Um, so we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Right, checking. Alright guys, found the problem, okay, so it took us 10 minutes to get in and I was just checking everything over, found the problem straight away. Um, if you're watching it and you're a TD5 owner or anything like that, you'll probably know what it's going to be. Um, I thought I knew what it would be in my head straight away, but it's not. Um, it's something else. So hopefully you can see it down the bottom. There's a manifold here, they're all done. Yeah, there's a bit of sudden thing. That was done before. It's been done. Okay, because Steve did it when he had it. Um, but when I did the turbo, internals are fine. Wastegate's working all right, that's moving. Everything's doing exactly what it should. But I said about this, it was a really high-end whistle when you, when you put your foot down. So if you've got that problem, it could well be this. So this back nut here, I can actually turn it all the way around. It's nearly vibrated all the way off, to be fair. The rest of them are all right, I have checked them. Um, but it is a common problem for either this end to go, or this end. Um, a lot of people de-web them. So what we're gonna do, we've got a spare one in the unit, so we've got a spare one. We're gonna pull that one off. I'm gonna get that one skimmed. We're gonna get it de-webbed. What, uh, and then for that one, also, I'm going to get the uprated uh, bolts and the uprated nuts. 
so I've got the whole packing ready to go on, which will probably be a follow-up video to this. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is I'm going to double check all these, make sure they're nice and tight, and literally put a little bit of Loctite just on this one, um, and just hopefully crank it down without doing the thread. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll bring you back in a minute. Morning guys, um, I say morning because it, yes, it is the next day um, and yeah, yesterday really didn't go to plan, uh, some things came up so I basically had to crack on, get them done um, while well, literally just flipping this back together, um, saying about that nut, I'll show you in a minute, I've put two nuts on, a bit of Loctite just for now, uh, just to see it through, um, so I've got the spare one. We're going to put spare one, well, sorry, we're going to get spare one de-webbed, skimmed, uh, get the upgraded bolts and nuts, um, and then I can go, I can't, thing is, I can't have it off the road, so I'm going to do this for now, then once I get the whole package together, which probably be next weekend, I'll hopefully get it on before next weekend, because I want to do some lanes, which I've not got out to do again, um, yeah, we're going to do that, um, get that done. I can literally flip it over then job done hopefully no issues you know what they're like um but yeah i was gonna i was gonna sort of name this video as turbo problems but it's obviously not and you know maybe a turbo check but it's not so i'm actually gonna put it on for uh like i don't know maybe a td5 manifold issue something like that and then um hopefully it just helps other people out because the it's a common problem reading up obviously massive common problem on the td5s um about the manifold warping um so yeah you can get the upgraded one but reading up on that that's not as good as well um so i'm going to stick with de-webbing it skimming it new metal gasket upgraded bolts and upgraded nuts happy days hopefully that sorts the issue um but yeah let me pop the hood hood sound like i'm american pop the hood took it for a wash anyway hopefully i can do this one-handed oh, bonnet we're in so what i want to show you there's two nuts on there now hopefully you can see it all right um obviously i haven't put the heat shield or it back back on like that um but yeah it's holding up the whistle is still there at the moment um it's less because uh, we've just nipped it up um for now but like i say you know my plan hopefully in the next few days i can get that sorted um and we can get that on um, but like I said, it's literally a short video guys, but like I said, common problem, that end and that end, they do warp. Um, so if you've got a slight whistle or a high whining noise or anything like that, double check your turbo like I did, it's not a problem. Um, but double check your manifold as well, big issue. Um, so yeah, apart from that guys, we'll catch you in a bit. Also guys, it'd be great if you could click the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment if you want. Uh, honestly, I really do appreciate it when people do that. Um, I always read the comments, I get back to them. Um, if you've got any questions, answer the question. I'll answer the questions um, to the best of my ability anyway. Um, but like I said, yeah, hit the subscribe button hit the like button also hit the bell notification that'll give you uh, notifications when i always bring videos out i'm gonna try and do it a little bit more regular for you guys but like i say i've got a family i work full time i run two businesses so i can only do so much take care